Boom. All right, what's going on to you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Crypto Convo, a series where we cover exciting news and price action in the land of cryptocurrencies and crypto related stocks. You guys, last night, Bitcoin finally crossed the elusive $50,000 mark. It's getting ready to cross it once again, just as we speak. So very exciting times, you guys. This is not only big news for Bitcoin itself. There we go. Big 50K on the dot. You love to see that. So again, you guys, this is not only big news for Bitcoin itself, but big news for the cryptocurrency blockchain sector as a whole, which we did see reflected reflected in some of our favorite Bitcoin crypto blockchain related stocks today, which of course we will cover. So very, very excited to record this crypto convo for you guys today. Let's get into it. As always, we'll quickly go over the topics we're going to be discussing and we'll dive into each one individually in front of us. You guys know the drill trading view where we'll cover the following names today going down the watch list in this order. You can see right shot kicking it off with the king the big 50k dog bitcoin of course we got to talk some technicals on bitcoin because the price action of bitcoin does obviously impact the price action of many of the names we're about to cover so got to set the groundwork talk some bitcoin we will also take a look at an article covering just 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 catching us up on the fundamentals behind bitcoin and why from a technical but more importantly fundamental perspective at this point in time i'm extremely bullish on bitcoin okay so we'll take a look at that after. But again, in terms of the names we're going to cover, kick it off with the king, Bitcoin. That's the only crypto we're going to be touching on today. And then straight into crypto stocks because we saw such exciting price action in this sector today. Kicking it off with our favorite Bitcoin mining stocks, at least mine. Uh, I'm sure you guys have some exciting ones out there too. But the OGs, Riot Blockchain, Marathon Patent Group. Um, again, you guys, Riot looking great right now. Mara is still looking better to me in my eyes. I just said this yesterday, but I'll explain to you guys once again why that is. These two love to play catch up. And again, I think it's only a matter of time before Mara continues to play that catch up with Riot. So We'll take a look at both Riot Blockchain Marathon Patent Group. Move on to the blockchain play that finally, finally popped off. We've been waiting for this one for a while, guys. Junlei or Xnet up almost 30% today, almost hitting $10, which is like my most optimistic price target in yesterday's uh, Monday stock watch. So very excited to cover that with you guys, let you guys know where I think that could be going on the downside and upside. And then Kanan. So Kanan, for those of you, um, shout out to the portfolio group. You guys know that Kanan has been in my portfolio for so long. I haven't talked about it much in some of these crypto convos just because um, I don't actually trade Kanan. Kanan's one of my set and forget it stocks, but we saw some very exciting price action there today. I know many of you are probably following Kanan, which is uh, they actually manufacture the machines that, that miners use. So they manufacture Bitcoin mining machines, Ethereum mining machines. So that's also a very, that's like a, a sub play of a Bitcoin mining play. Okay, so we'll cover Kanan up 50% today crazy to see that and then close it out with my favorite solo stock play you can't trade options on this because that little d represents the fact that it is an otc or over-the-counter stock but currency works up 20 percent as well today this sector just on fire so again i could not be more pumped to talk some price action price targets and technicals with you guys um, for these names today and then again like i said in the, uh, like i said when we were talking bitcoin i do want to cover this bloomberg article titled bitcoin jumps to 50,000 as record-breaking rally accelerates again this this article just a few paragraphs here i'll try to keep it quick read fast the usual um i do just want to catch you guys up on the fundamental all the fundamental catalysts all these institutions these these whales getting into bitcoin giving the cosign to bitcoin because this is ultimately what will propel this this bitcoin rally other than all the previous ones in history way further is is this actual institutional adoption from from large capital allocators okay so we'll take a look at this again keep this quick before getting into the charts but as always before we do i will ask you guys to please give the video a like if you do go on to gain value from it today or if you're invested or trading any of the stocks or assets which is bitcoin that we're going to be talking about subscribe to the channel if you're new around here want to catch more content like this do my best to post at least five videos a week um, especially in these exciting times so pumped to ride this wave with you guys and lastly check out my complete portfolio daily newsletter first link down in the description if you're interested in a complete breakdown of all my stocks call options put options stock positions cryptocurrency positions i do update that every single trading day during market hours letting you guys know what i'm trading and then along with those updates i do send out an email newsletter also during market hours of course rationalizing my trades giving you guys my thoughts giving you guys some charts giving you guys some analyses um, in real time if you're interested in that at all so Again, 15 bucks a month if you want to check it out. First link down in the description. Uh, appreciate it if you do, of course. I really put a lot of hard work into it, so it's greatly appreciated. But if not, no worries at all. Let's get in to this article. Just again, set the groundwork here. Kick it off with this, kick it off with Bitcoin, and then we'll get into some of our favorite stocks. All right. Um, again, Little, little two key, uh, little two key points right here. Micro strategy to sell more convertible debt to buy, uh, buy of the coin. I'm not sure if that's a typo. That's weirdly written. 
Morgan Stanley is considering Bitcoin for investment fund. Obviously, again, it's it's this big money. It's the large capital allocators that, in my opinion and the opinion of many others, this is what we've been saying for months, you guys. This institutional wave of adoption is what will ultimately differentiate this bull run from that of the previous ones. Okay, uh, and in my opinion, it's gonna it's gonna last a whole lot longer and be a whole lot stronger. So Bitcoin blew through another milestone, surging past fifty thousand for the first time as the blistering rally in the largest cryptocurrency continues to captivate investors worldwide. The world's largest cryptocurrency jumped as much as 4.9% to $50,500 and is now up about 70% so far this year. Bitcoin paired part its gain after setting the record high. Ether, a rival crypto, hit a record on Friday and is up about 140% year to date. After ending last year with a fourth quarter surge of 170%, around $29,000, Bitcoin token jumped to $40,000 seven days later. It took just nearly six weeks six weeks to breach the latest threshold, buoyed by endorsements from the likes of Paul Tudor Jones, Mount Rushmore, Stan Druckenmiller, another titan of industry, and Elon Musk, literally the richest man in the world. So again, you guys, these these titans of industry these large capital allocators these the literally the wealthiest guy in the world and, and one of the most influential individuals in the world giving their cosign giving the stamp of approval to bitcoin is a very very obvious green flag for the longevity of this asset in my eyes bitcoin traded for a few cents for several years after its debut more than a decade ago which is just created again bitcoin is just over 10 years old you guys it was created in 2010 coming out of the financial crisis coming out of the 08 recession and it's just crazy to think about the fact you always hear those stories about the the guy spending 10k bitcoin for like a domino's pizza and that just shows the power the staying power of this asset it's cruising around 50k as we speak once again which is just crazy to think about how fast this thing is scaled but more so it speaks to the quality of the product of the technology of the beauty of the invention that is bitcoin Tesla Inc.'s announcement that it added $1.5 billion in Bitcoin to its balance sheet was the most visible recent catalyst, sending the price up 16% on February 8th, the biggest one-day gain since the COVID-19 inspired financial markets volatility in March. Optimism grew after MasterCard Inc. and Bank of New York Mellon moved to make it easier for customers to use cryptocurrencies, while Bloomberg reported Saturday that Morgan Stanley may add Bitcoin to his list of possible bets. Again, you guys, all these names, MasterCard, Tesla, Bank of New York, um, Morgan Stanley, there's so, Fidelity, there's Bloomberg, even Blo this site, Bloomberg, like Bloomberg um, Markets is, is covering so much Bitcoin. If you're not paying attention to Bitcoin, you're on the wrong side of history. So again, it's these large players finally coming around. The retail investors got it right first. We got it right first. So a little pat ourselves, like, oh yeah, keep the ego in check. But pat ourselves on the bat. Finally, finally, institution is coming into this. And again, realizing the beauty and understanding the beauty of the invention that is the Bitcoin blockchain. That is, again, just a little, little set the groundwork for the for the fundamentals. Now let's move into some technicals. So Bitcoin, again, floating. It's, it's going to be fun to watch this just go from 49, 49, 9 to like 50K. Anyway, Bitcoin, like from so long term, we'll zoom out a little bit after this. But you got short term like this is a, this, like, look how healthy this growth is like textbook, higher highs, higher lows. And when you see a chart like this, it's pretty much just in an ascending channel right now. So an ascending channel, you guys, is, of course, just pretty much like this is not going to be perfect. Just some bootlegging it real quick. But I mean, just general ascending channel like this. And of course, you can move those trend lines around. I'm just making the example ascending channel. If you're already in a bull, like an overall medium to long term bull rally, a bull market, usually a, a rising ascending channel, obviously ascending channel is going to be rising. Usually an ascending channel will resolve itself to the upside. OK, so it's showing strength. It's showing people like, man, should I buy around 50K? Should I buy around 50K? And then it's going to bust up to like 55K. And then people are like, damn, I'm going to get in. So once again, I just said this, said this yesterday. I'll probably be covering this every day just because it's so damn exciting. Let's go to the daily real quick. I'll just show you guys my medium term price target for BTC. Let's get this guy out of the way just because it's kind of distracting. BTC, again, you guys, it only makes sense to me that Bitcoin, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, sorry. Bitcoin ultimately once again comes up to test the top line of resistance on this medium term uptrend beginning in mid-December. December 17th is when this kicked off. Boom. You see that big rally that just so many daily green candles. Um, the second touch point, January 8th. And it only makes sense to me that Bitcoin will once again test this top line of resistance for a third time. Go for the hat trick. And uh, if we hit it by, say, March 1st, just because that's kind of a general end of the month target, 
that would take us to an $82,000 Bitcoin ish. So conservative price target for Bitcoin medium term is 80,000. That's where I'm personally comfortable. Maybe um, starting to take some profits in Bitcoin, but also a lot of these names, because again, the price action of Bitcoin will heavily dictate that of many of these other, many of the other players in the sector. Okay. So maybe this takes a month, maybe it goes parabolic over the course of this week. I don't know, but again, it's all about when it touches this line of resistance on the overall uptrend. Bitcoin. Let's move on to our Bitcoin miners, Riot and Mara. So Riot is, again, you guys, it is in a technical breakout. Let's go back to the four hour just to make it a little more digestible. I believe Riot CEO is going to be on CNBC this evening, if not already. Maybe he just was because it's probably New York time. It's probably earlier today. I didn't see that, but I will probably watch the video after this. I've been doing some DD for this video. Anyway, uh, Riot, again, once it broke out of this overall trend line, I was, I was convinced, which we did. We death. Uh, this was my initial price target for Riot. Obviously, the the, the long term uptrend, very obvious area that uh, this that that would have acted as a line of resistance for Riot. You could obviously do this as well. This is my conservative estimate, and this is this is definitely coming into play now. So I'll do this, draw this real time for you guys because this is also coming into play. This is the more short term rally for Riot beginning mid December, uh, similar to when Bitcoin started popping off and we saw that initial touch point for that uptrend on Bitcoin. So Riot again has broken through this line of resistance as well so it right is pretty much at this point in blue sky territory it's very difficult to dictate where right can go from here so i'm not really going to do that more importantly i really like the look of mara's chart right now because it's a little more readable in my opinion although more volat volatile it is more readable so mara came super super close to testing our price target just this morning i thought maybe maybe by the end of the week was my guess again i always want to do kind of conservative estimates i don't want to just be like oh yeah tomorrow it's going to pop off even if i think it's going to pop off i don't feel it's responsible to do that so just give if anything make a little cushion but anyway Mara came very close to hitting this top line of resistance on the on the more medium term uptrend. This line right here is a shorter term uptrend. So this is like the medium long term uptrend. This is the short to medium term uptrend, which I'll which I'll zoom out and show you guys after because that's my ultimate Mara price target to the upside. So Mara again came very close. Like like we're talking if it hit it today, it would have been 46, 44. It came up to 40, uh, like 45. So it was like a dollar away from hitting it which is only, I mean, only a few percentage points, but didn't quite do it. I think it's very likely that we at least come to test this line, maybe see a little bounce, but because again, I'm bullish on Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin over the course of the month can hit $80,000. Therefore, I'm obviously bullish on plays like Riot and Mar. They're just going to keep going up. I would not be surprised in the slides to see, uh, to see three figure, three digit Riot and Mar, which is obviously like a hundred dollar price targets. Um, but again, from a technical perspective, just zooming out a little bit here, it wouldn't surprise me to see Mara use this shorter term trend line. So at once Mara really started to go parabolic using this touch point mid December, same as Riot. So Riot, again, very similar, very similar technical patterns. But Mara is a lot farther away from that line of resistance. Keep in mind, though, because Mara does have more outstanding shares, it makes sense that um, their market caps are going to start to sync up a little more as opposed to the share price. So again, as these companies get bigger, because Mara has more outstanding shares, the share price can be lower but Mars market cap is actually about the same. If not, I think a little bigger. We're not going to look at that now, but they're pretty much even at this point to my knowledge. Regardless, a lot of traders are looking at technicals. Quants run this market right now. So uh, it is very likely, in my opinion, that if we do break through this, which I think is, uh, once again, just very likely. Keep in mind, all just my opinion, you guys, is not direct advice. I could very well be wrong on this. This is just what I'm expecting to happen and always know my money's on what I'm saying. So uh, again, using this more short to medium term um, uptrend, using this touch point here, this touch point here, that would take us to at the end of February, once again, February 26, March 1st, that would take us to about a $76 Mara, 75 conservative price target. And again, because Riot and Mara do tend to play catch up, I do expect a similar price target for Riot. Again, because Riot is a little more in blue, beautiful 50K, I just saw that, it snuck in there. Uh, because Mara, uh, because again, Riot and Mara do tend to play catch up. Riot's chart is a little harder to read than Mara's right now, which was actually not the case for a long time. But now I actually like Mara more from a trader's perspective. I think I'll always like Riot more as a company. It's just my day one. I've held literally a Riot position for, for years. And uh, it's done me so well, specifically over this year with call options and whatnot. But Mara right now from, a, from an objective trading perspective is looking more appealing to me because it's just a little, it's easy it's solely for the reason that it's easier to read on the charts. Okay. So again, my price target for Mara, uh, by the end of the month, say we hit at the end of the month is $76 price target for Riot is going to be about the same thing. Maybe a little higher once again, because Riot's, I think the market caps are going to slowly start to sink up more and more. I think in, investors are, um, getting a little smarter again, market cap is more. So what dictates fair value 
of a stock as opposed to individual individual share price so i think we could see that come into play but again just a uh, conservative estimate 75 bucks for both riot and mara moving on jinle xnet so xnet again just just yesterday just yesterday guys uh xnet literally gapped right above so let's get rid of that just so you guys can see it gapped straight above this line of resistance you guys and if you've been following the xnet journey from this point right here I was hyper, hyper bullish on XNet. Standard two wave theory. Um, again, you see that parabolic move up, bubble pops, capitulation. You see that strength build. It's a, this beautiful ascending channel. And again, when it like, goes back to Bitcoin, when a stock, when an asset, whatever you're looking at on the charts is in an overall uptrend, it's very likely that an ascending channel that is building strength will likely break out to the upside. And that's exactly what happened. We saw the breakout. Obviously, Bitcoin was the primary catalyst behind the breakout of many of these stocks. So you do need that fundamental spark to light the fire underneath a lot of these guys. But the fire is lit. And again, just in yesterday's stock watch i was talking about I, th I think this is my price target but if we blast through it uh let me know down in the comments if you guys remember this if we do blast through it um we could hit ten dollars just because ten dollars is, is, is a very psychological even and if we zoom in here you can see this is the ten dollar line we got i think literally one cent away what like 997 998 on xnet this morning so pretty much it, you guys it, like that feels so good we hit the nail on the head with this one you love to see it again there's always luck involved there's always a piece of luck involved but it, it again the more you do this the better you get and that's just been so evident over the course of this crypto bull market and uh, again just another testament to keep grinding keep working hard and uh, it'll everything will come to fruition everything's everything's really falling into place for us okay so xnet on the downside uh, keep in mind, this thing could just keep ripping. We see a big move up. There's fundamental momentum behind the entire sector, which leads me to believe from a fundamental perspective that we could see XNet rally. And I want to let you guys know that I definitely still hold a significant XNet position. And I'm very excited about where this thing could go over the course of the next month. Because keep in mind, XNet's all-time high back in 2017 was at $25. Riot and Mars high was around $45. Mars is currently floating around there. Riot is, is at new all-time highs. That's why it's in blue sky territory. It only makes sense to me that XNet, because um, I think momentum will slowly start to slow around these plays as they just get to astronomic levels. Um, XNet, uh, although it does have a similar market cap, it's, it's previous high in 2017 was at $25. So I think XNet might start to play a little catch up similar to how Riot and Mark catch up with each other, but XNet might just join the party and play some catch up as well. Um, so very exciting here. Downside price target though, I think it's very likely that once we do start to see a correction, once we do see a pullback, XNet will use this previous line of resistance that was just, again, just my initial price target and use this as a new line of support so okay so ta 101 always say this previous resistance will act as new support all right so if xnet pulls back where i would be comfortable picking up more xnet is around this level right here again use this previous line of resistance new line of support successfully bounces off that that signifies to me that xnet has fulfilled this correction is successfully using this as a line of support and will likely continue the the rally up so again once we once we start rallying up because because again we're just kind of in, in uncharted territory you can always go back in the past find previous uh historic ceilings and floors that have acted as a pre so which is this red line right here i'm not going to go back you guys just to save you the time but this red line at right here if we do see a significant rally there was so much support and resistance like acted as a ceiling floor this like 1360 area just again give or take 1350 to 14 dollar area acted as a very significant just line of resistance and support for xnet in its 2017 rally so it makes sense to me that this would come into play once again historicals again history doesn't repeat itself but it does rhyme so as a trader this is if we do see it continue to rally up this would be my initial initial price target again give or take 10 20 cents whatever but just this area 13 to 14 dollars is going to be like my general price range if we do see another move up which of course from 10 dollars is about a 30 percent appreciation xnet canaan uh canaan is again you guys i've been we haven't talked about Canon on this channel in so long and I kind of I'm kind of bummed about that because uh, Objectively, I've been so focused on so many of these other places sucks when this happens But it was it should it's so obvious that this was gonna happen once Canon broke above this on February 9th So once Canon you can see hi another high here spread out by November 24th this next high significant ceiling for Canon um, in January like this this spanned over like a month and a half two months so once we broke above this and closed a few four hours above this it should have been so obvious and this was and I'm sorry guys I do apologize for not catching I don't know how I didn't catch this and again I saw it move up um I saw it move up on Friday I was like okay it's probably gonna pull back it didn't it just obviously evidently didn't grab straight up up another 50 percent today and I'm really bummed I didn't catch this trade again I, I had I've had a very significant not very significant but um 
a, a reasonable stock position in Canaan for similar to Riot for like for at least over a year now. And again, it's one of my set it forget it stocks. I believe in this company long term. And uh, Canaan is on an absolute rampage. So Canaan, because the upside price targets, maybe it keeps ripping. Uh, but I I'm for sure not a buyer of Canaan at these levels. Uh, my downside price target for Canaan is going to be right here. So my first price target obviously is just going to be where we gapped up, um, where we previously gapped up just literally today. So even there, I'm not comfortable buying in all honesty. If, I wouldn't be surprised to see it come down here before continuing its overall uptrend. But where I would actually be comfortable buying Canaan just because it's ripped so hard would be again, previous resistance, very, very strong ceiling for Canaan over the past few months would act as new support. So if Canaan does happen to pull back to like the $7 level, I don't know how likely that is. It's probably not very likely. Um, I would be very, very comfortable and I will 100% establish a Canaan position there. But for now, I'm just going to have to be content. Don't get greedy. I'm happy with my Canaan stock position. It's still making me money and uh, I can't be mad about it. But again, I'm, I do want to apologize to you guys for not catching. This was, it should have been so obvious and I really wish I caught it before we saw this big parabolic move up. So uh, I'm sorry about that one, guys. Closing it out with again, favorite, one of my favorite OTC plays. This and ALYI are like really kind of my moonshots just because their market caps are so small. Currency Works market cap is currently at $65 million. Still a mini school company for the, for the um, actual fundamental projects that they're working on, which is helping companies tokenize, um, create, pretty much create ICO. So ICO craze, every, every company over the course of this new bull market, everyone's geeking out about blockchain everyone wants their own token it's a good way to create liquid for your company and also a good way to create a native payment system within your company it's just a, it's just a very it just makes sense once you understand the, the the kind of the logistics of that so currency works regardless small company small market caps you guys know i love small market caps because it takes less capital inflow to appreciate the individual share price um currency works is going about as uh, once currency works again i just i'll keep i, I i'm sorry if you guys watch all these and i repeat myself but currency where this was the most like ideal setup i've ever seen a combination of the two wave again you see that parabolic move up um followed by the descending triangle this isn't only a two wave this is more of a bull this is a textbook bull flag so again parabolic move up flagpole um the, the descending triangle which is the flag itself perfectly textbook it's rare you see a breakout this textbook from a bull flag so almost perfectly broke out of the bull flag we see this parabolic rally and since then there's no looking back and again because this stock is so small because the market cap is so small it does not take much capital inflow to appreciate the individual share price okay so um again you guys very exciting to see this here and i my, my price target for canaan has is, is remaining the same since we broke out since we broke out on the 4th of february so like almost two weeks ago my price target remains exactly the same for canaan i think it's very likely uh, sorry currency works for c work i think it's very likely that c work ultimately comes up to test the top line of the resistance on this overall uptrend very similar time frame because everything started popping off when bitcoin and crypto started popping off so using this first touch point this initial high december 4th this next nice solid high here on january 4th exactly a month later it only makes sense to me that this is the obvious trend line it's looking like that's where it wants to go and uh, i think if we hit it once again by the end so february 19th would be the end of this week if we hit it by the end of the week my price target for currency works is two dollars and 25 cents but keep in mind you guys for same it's, same goes for all of these who knows where we're going technicals from uh, from an objective from a rational perspective as a responsible trader you want to keep an eye on technicals because of course they do come into play because there's so there's more and more traders in this market coming in every day who are basing their opinions and their actions off of technicals. So um, again, it's it's very likely to me that this will come into play at least for a, at least a little bit. Probably come down, bounce off it a little bit. But it's also very possible if we break above this, we are once again in that blue sky territory, and it's very likely that we see C work. I wouldn't be surprised to see again a billion dollar market cap to to reach a billion dollar market cap, which is in the grand scheme of the markets, even a billion dollar market cap is still tiny, tiny market cap. Uh, Seawork would still have to to like 1.3x 1. 1. 1. or something, right? So it could over one, no, sorry. It would have to 10x. So to 10x, obviously simple math, I'm dumb, sorry. 10x would be $650 million market cap. Like a 1.3x would be a billion dollar market cap. 10, 13x, oh my God, I'm making a fool of myself. So 13x would be about a billion dollar market cap. I'm kidding, you guys probably did the, already did the math. But again, it's all about the risk reward potential. This is obviously in a very exciting industry. You see volume coming up uh, in a very exciting fundamental sector. And there's so much money that wants to be put to work right now in the markets, especially as capital starts to flow out of other sectors that aren't as exciting. And cryptocurrency is obviously just getting more and more exciting. There's going to be so much capital inflow to specifically this sector. And that's why it's so exciting with small cap stocks like this is because 
uh, for the 20th time, it does not take much capital inflow to a stock with a $65 million market cap to appreciate the individual share price. So I want to be surprised to easily see a $10 C work, $20 C work, $30 C work, who knows? Um, but again, just keep an eye on it, you guys. Always keep an eye on the charts. And of course, I will keep you posted because this is like the most exciting time of my life personally. And uh, I hope it's it's free. reading the comments, reading some of your guys' messages to me, like tr seriously warms my heart because we are just riding like the sickest wave right now. And I can't thank you guys enough for being on this ride with me. Another thing I have to ask you, I should, I should have mentioned this at the beginning. I There are so many bots in my comments. You guys know this. I, I have addressed it many times before. But for those of you who may be new, and if you're still watching, you guys... I report at least 10 to 15 of these stupid scumbag bots every day. I block them. I ban them. I spam them. Or I report them for spam. So please, you guys, I can't keep up. I wish YouTube did a better job with this. But I will ask you, please, if you see them in your comments, if they're these idiots, these fools, if you see them, please report them for spam. If enough of us report them, maybe YouTube will see it because it's just, they're so there's literally got to be hundreds of them. I've blocked. I've already blocked at least a hundred of these stupid bots, and they just keep coming. There's nothing I can do about it, you guys. Um, so please, uh, please do a civil service. This is a PSA. Please, if you guys, if you see those guys, because I, I physically just can't keep up. Please block them, and I trust you guys to do so because those guys are scum. They're clowns. They're absolute clowns, and I hate them. So um, again, thank you guys for tuning in once again. As always, leave a comment down below that the bots will most definitely comment on comment on and then you report them but leave a comment down below of what your favorite play that we talked about is what you're most excited about if it's canon again you guys sorry about canon i wish i saw that earlier but you know what there's always going to be more opportunities out there we're already involved in so many exciting plays in this sector um and again it's important you guys stay rational don't get greedy there's a lot of strong hands in this market but as, as, as exciting as things are and as fast as things can go up, things can fall even faster. So just stay on your toes, you guys. Embrace the volatility. And uh, until next time, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.